morning everybody this is the second time that i have started this vlog this week yesterday did not really go to plan for me i went to london i had a wedding dress fitting i'll insert in a second what i got up to yesterday because i've already filled you in on a lot of things and i'm gonna work smarter not harder and let yesterday me do the work for me today but yeah i went to london yesterday and i am going to london again today today i have two events two events with alana which is a rarity this never happens this is very very fun for me if you don't know alana is my friend she lives in canada so doing events with her is literally it, ne it never happens and i'm also getting to see victoria today so all in all a very very nice day for me i'm really looking forward to the day ahead the weather is i hope also holding up for us it seems to be so that is also amazing because i'm also trying my dog my dog honestly she's quiet she's silent as the grave and then i start vlogging and she knows she knows the attention is not on her she takes after her mother but yeah i also had to pack a bag today and i wanted everything for the next two days yeah two days to fit into one bag so yeah i'm really hoping the weather holds up because obviously the warmer it is the less things i have to pack i just really couldn't be bothered to cart a suitcase around london you'll see why you'll see why throughout this vlog i need a big bag and why i'm staying away from home but yeah it's going to be a very fun couple of days but yeah we are going to flash back to yesterday now when i was picking my shoes for my wedding dress fitting and yesterday me can fill you in on everything that is going on at the moment because there is so much going on and i will be back with you when i get to london i'm not going to show my outfit yet today because if i'm being honest the wardrobe room things have taken a turn because i haven't been home in so long it's become a dumping ground most of my house has become a the stairwell leading up to the wardrobe room is a dumping ground the wardrobe room is a dumping ground so i could show you my outfit but i don't know if i'm comfortable with showing you that level of mess if i do you'll find out after we cut back to yesterday good morning good morning today we have a very exciting day i'm actually up at the ass crack of dawn that's why i'm speaking so quietly because ryan is still asleep but i'm about to pack my bags with my wedding shoes because i am going for one of i think my final wedding dress fittings today which is so exciting so yeah i need to pop some shoes in my bag because we need to make sure the dress is the right height for the shoes. We have many pairs of shoes, there are many dresses. This wedding has got so much bigger than I ever anticipated. I'm gonna stop yapping on because otherwise we're gonna be late. So these are my wedding shoes. I designed these with Charlotte Mills. Some of you will have heard me talk about this in the vlogs already, some of you may not. I couldn't really talk about it too much until I actually had the shoes in my hands i didn't want to bore you all but these are the first pair of shoes i designed i've actually worn these already if they look like they've been worn it's because they have on shoot day i was jumping around in i think it was these so if they look like they've been jumped around in it it's because they have but anyway i wanted a shoe with a really statement bow on the back but that wasn't a trip hazard in any way because you know how i feel about bow shoes that are a trip hazard and this pair has a really gorgeous like satin bow on the back, a nice thin strap on the front, which makes your feet look really sexy. I didn't want anything crazy and chunky, and these are just honestly beautiful. We went back and forth over the bows a lot to make sure that when you jump around, this top part of the bow does not move at all. I wanted it to be really structured, not flimsy in any way, and it is perfect does not move and then these little bits have movement to them but nothing crazy the materials and nice like thick structure it's not like a flappy little bit of silk so really really gorgeous and then we also have the chain detail around the ankle which is really beautiful and very very sturdy another one of my gripes as some of you will know already they're just absolutely gorgeous they've got a cute blue label on the inside and then all of the charlotte mills shoes come with an inscription on the bottom so those are gorgeous i have to make some tough decisions right now so i need to pick which one of these pairs of shoes is going to go with which dress one of them the length does not need altering so whichever pair of shoes goes with that one it doesn't matter but this is a hard decision because these are also stunning i think these are weirdly the bow shoe is just my favorite i absolutely love her i think she's so 
stunning and versatile and really simple but this pair has been the favorite by far among so many people and i was not expecting this we actually added this in as a last minute addition this was one of the pairs that we designed we loved and then we weren't going to go with but then there was another shoe that we just couldn't get quite right and do you know me i if we can't do it right we're not doing it so i decided to go back to this pair because we'd already signed them off they were already perfect we actually made a last minute addition with the polka dots on the mesh that was in the original design but not in the pair that i'd signed off but at the last minute we popped a couple of pairs on stories and asked you guys which you preferred and literally everyone was like polka dot mesh and i was like okay <laughs> Okay, I am fully overruled, but they are so beautiful. I love this heel. I love how it's a slim heel. It still has like that like sexy vibe to it because I'm a slim heel girl at heart, but it also has the block on the bottom, like it tapers out and it just gives you that added stability. They're so good for dancing in, so, so good. Especially with the sling back, it's elasticated under the bow. So you definitely get support, but also movement with it. These are insanely comfortable. Like all Charlotte Mill shoes are so comfortable. It's why I decided to design my wedding shoes with them, but these are like the most these are the most comfortable especially for having a slimmer heel like a block heel you would expect them to be comfortable and sturdy and just everything that you need in like a practical practical high heel these for me are better because they hug your whole foot and then they've got a really nice sturdy heel these are insanely perfect and i love the fact they've got the cap on the toe as well i know from previous videos lots of you don't like being able to see the majority of your toes through a shoe so this one i think you literally see like my little toe and that is it. But yeah, I'm obsessed with these. I love them so much. But now I have to decide which goes with which dress and it's really stressing me. Then in my collection that I'm launching with Charlotte Mills, we also have the bow shoe, but in a block heel for the girlies that want something a little bit more practical, tiny bit more comfortable because these are insanely comfortable either way. But this has more of a block heel so if you want to dance if you just don't love wearing a slim heel for your balance for just like generally how you feel in a heel if you're getting married on grass these are a much better option they also have i didn't get to show you on the end of the chain they have a little crystal as well which is just gorgeous it's a really nice touch that was my final touch that i added to these shoes before we signed them off and had them made so if you love these but you don't love the slim heel there will be a thicker heel available just for you girlies but now i need to bag these up all of the charlotte mills shoes come with a dust bag they also come with this really cute like all of your care instructions are in the box but it also comes with this little envelope it's so cute and it says you borrowed something they're all about the bridal vibes like they have a sixpence built into the sole of the shoe which is meant to be for good luck the label is blue and then we have the inscription on the bottom which is just gorgeous as well like i said i've worn these which is why the bottoms are dirty i need to decide which pair is for uk and which pair is for ibiza right now and i'm stressed oh my god i don't know because they're different heel heights so like i need to know i need to know which pair is coming with me today okay envision envision this is where i want to take all of them and get everyone's opinions but i can't carry so many pairs of shoes to london i'm taking both i'm taking both and i'll ask the half penny team because they are like my guru but kate who is hbic at half penny she picked my wedding flowers <laughs> i'm a libra i hate making decisions i will literally i just ask the pros i'm like what do you think what do you think goes with this dress and kate was just like actually let me tell you what i think goes with this dress and i was like oh yes thank you this isn't excessive at all okay make sure i smell good before we go this is my current go-to fragrance we have gone back to 2014 is it 2014? 2015? Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. The rings are going on. I'm obsessed with wearing a lot of rings at the moment, like really chunky ones. We have a new bracelet. There may be a second Aurelia edit coming this month, at the end of the month. And that may or may not also be where my earrings are from. This edit, I actually didn't think we could top the first edit, but this edit is a hundred times better than the first one. I love this combo, this is so nice. We are here on Half Penny Street. This is what I call it because they basically own half the street. I don't know which one I'm in today. Maybe this one. Hi. Hi Susie, you okay? Hi. 
doing good. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. So nice to see you too. Top is gorgeous. Yes, it's very warm so today. So it's so warm. Hi, how, how are you? Nice to see you. I'm really doing the most. Hi, Rosie. Oh. <laughs> Just finished up on my wedding dress appointment. I think I have one more fitting after this to make sure that everything is perfect. And then I think we're done, unless something dramatically changes and we need further alterations. I should be done. Oh my God, my bag is making a lot of noise. Can you hear that? I'm like clip clopping. So now we have a lot of time to kill. I've actually just been to a gifting suite for Pepper Mayo, which was very exciting because I have newly discovered them and I'm just loving all of their stuff. I decided on the shoes. The team at Halfpenny were so helpful and we decided on the shoes. So I'm wearing the court shoe for my UK wedding and bow shoe at my Ibiza wedding. But yeah, that's gonna be so fun. So I will leave a link to the waitlist in the info box if you guys want to sign up and just be notified. I will leave that there for any of the girlies that are interested. I don't, what do you do when you have free time in London and you don't want to spend money? Like, what do you do? So I've just literally been walking. What is my step count? I want to know. 8,900 steps, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've done my day's steps basically by the time I'm home. I normally do like 10K a day. I just realized we haven't actually done an outfit of the day in my bedroom for a very long time. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit so I don't have to show you. I'm not brave enough to show you the wardrobe room. It is a complete mess, but actually in here isn't looking so bad. And actually so many of you are now new here that I don't know if everyone knows that this is even what my bedroom looks like, but it's very cute. Quite the transformation to a few years back when this wall here was just completely bare and all the bedding was white. There was like basically no furniture in here. We have furniture now. It's very nice. I also have my, my jelly cats, which are the essential ingredients for a margarita. It's a grown-ups bedroom and then it has me as an inhabitant, so we can't be adults all the time. But yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing some very controversial footwear here. This is why I don't vlog over this side of the room because there's wires. There's wires everywhere. This is not my side of the bed. My side of the bed <laughs> is a uh, stacked with books but yeah controversial footwear in the form of these basically they're like <laughs> essentially fishnets they remind me of the material that orange packaging is it comes in so like if you buy a oranges that come in that red like net it reminds me of that also feeling very self-conscious because i didn't have a mani i have their toes but they're they're manied but without the polish but hoping no one can tell but yeah i'm wearing an old muse set today this actually comes with a belt which i've packed into my bag because this evening we have dinner we have dinner with alana we have a daytime event with alana i'm just soaking her up while she's here because i never get to see her and i love her so much so yeah we are going for dinner tonight in london and i'm gonna wear this blazer this little set and this blazer that has the belt around the middle i might pop my hair up i've got a change of jewelry just to take this from day to night but i think during the day i'm going to wear this open and i've got a black body on underneath yeah i'll just wear it open a little bit more casual a little bit more breathable because london is probably quite warm and then i'll make it look quite cool for the evening i also love the sleeves on this they've got this like long point i just love it also the heatless curls are really doing their thing today so if at times i have like a random poodle curl that is <laughs> is why. In terms of jewellery, I am wearing some of the same pieces that I wore yesterday, so all my rings are the same, my earrings are the same, square studs from my Aurelia collection, but today I have the chunky gold necklace on. <gasps> I'm in love. I love it so much. And then I have a couple more pieces that I am going to switch up for the evening. So that is my outfit of the day. I've just realised I have no lip product on. I have lip liner and then nothing else. How embarrassing for me. Let's sort that. Okay. This is a fave lip combo of mine at the moment. It is the Lancome Lip Liner, the Idol Nude Lip Liner in shade 33. I'll try and link it if I can. It's so creamy, so pigmented. It looks great like on the base of the lip with the brown lip liner as well. Like so you can pop this just in the center and then do mostly brown, but I kind of love at the moment just doing a whole, like it's like a corally pink nude. It's really beautiful and it's nice and like it's matte but it's not too matte but it really helps to give like a full look to the lip and it's not too sheeny so you really get that if you want to like make your lips look bigger it's like I don't know I find when they've got a sheen they kind of it really shows that you are overlining whereas when they're a bit more matte and creamy you can't tell as much and then I'm putting the matte lip power from Armani in shade 114 which is a really lovely light pinky nude 
over the top and I love that. That's my favourite like nude summer lip combo. Also can we just appreciate the fact that I don't have contacts in and I basically just did that whole lip liner segment completely blind. Not us running late and power walking and Victoria is in the highest, highest heels. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> What a time to start the vlog. <laughs> is it the start of the vlog? <laughs> it's not the start, but this is, I haven't checked in since I was at home. Hi everyone! I came across Vic in the street. We always bump into each other like this. I know. Oh, imagine if that's our bus that we're meant to be on. Oh we're meant to be getting on a bus and it's leaving now. Imminently. So, Alana, if we miss it, I'm really sorry. We made it! <laughs> we literally have been stressing about being late and Vic's like, do you think we have time to pee? <laughs> Big priorities! See, no one's on the bus yet, we've just had time for a quick wee. Where are we meant to do that? Against this tree! The tree? Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> what has happened to us this morning? We've turned feral. In the, in the half an hour we've been together, we've been become absolutely feral. <laughs> We are on the bus. Got my bus buddy. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my whole entire life. What shade is this? This is Stunning. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I just need a camera constantly rolling on you. It's hysterical when the camera's off. We're back. <laughs> With the address fitting. I'm excited to see you in it again. Will I get to see yours too? No, that was me yesterday. I'm done, done, I'm done. Beautiful visions in my mind. It looks so different now, though, to when you last saw it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a good best friend when your shoes start to rub and they're like, I'll give you my shoes and we can swap. This is the, don't they do this with boyfriends on TikTok? Yeah! In oh, fact, didn't Amelia do it the other day? Yeah. <laughs> these must be a bit big on you, babe. These are different. They're, they're a oh, tiny, so. tiny bit big. They're, but they've been fine. I was going to say, your feet are slightly smaller. Like, we're a half size difference, which is yeah. wonderful for me. It is great. Best well, it's amazing for me now, <laughs> and I've been complimenting and these. And they're small as well, so they'll be perfect. For you. These are, I love these. Oh my god, look, no, look at that though. I look like a dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> these are so fun. They look great. So and with this out, I mean, look at this outfit. I actually I have a belt for this evening. I'm going to belt it. Oh, I have cute. a change of earrings. I have so many clothes in yeah. it. <laughs> This bag's amazing. It is, it oh, is like a Mary Poppins. Do you want to change your clothes? No, I actually no, really do want to really wear like these. these I'd like to buy these, so I want to see how comfortable they are. This is my Mary Poppins bag of clothes. It really is. It is it is like a like the kitchen sink though, isn't it? Yeah, this literally everything, but, but I didn't bring that much skincare, so I will be stealing lots. No problemo. I happen to have lots, yes. so don't you worry. Like, I'm going to a good place. There will be makeup there. Uh, I just bought my tinted moisturiser, so it's my shade and my mascara, because hygiene. <laughs> You've brought two products oh, only. Actually, I did bring my cleanser, because I'm really funny about my cleanser. <laughs> cleanser. Even though your cleanser is going be amazing. Yeah. And a mini uh, Clé de Peau cream, oh. because I'm just obsessed with it. I mean, I obviously have some of that too. So Cece's coming to my house later, so maybe we could do like a full spa moment when we get in. Yeah. We could do like math. I love that this is Victoria takeover, by the way. I know this is <laughs> Victoria that's taking over my home. I know. I love it. I'm also not sure how much blush I've gone and put on now. Look. Oh no, you look great. You so sure? fresh. Yeah. It was because the bus was quite dark and I just kept like applying more blush. No. And now it, I'm it like, like... I love it, but I'm a big blush. I'm a big blush fan. We haven't told them what we're doing now, actually. Oh yeah. Victoria yeah, is coming to, I'm going to have a face transplant, no I'm not. Um, Victoria is <laughs> coming to hold my hand whilst uh, her injectables lady injects my face. Yep. Yeah, I put Susie onto them. So yeah, it's at L'Atelier Aesthetics, Harley Street. I've been going there for years and they're amazing. So they do all like my profilo, they do my massive to Botox and Sue said she yeah. wanted to find someone new. So I was like, come yeah. see Emma and Duncan, you're going to love them. And they do look so good, like so, so, like, yeah, they're really, I'm really sweet. fussy about who I will go to, and you're Benjamin buttoning backwards and So, Sue, and um, she's a great advertisement for you. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, so I'm <laughs> excited but also really scared because I've had the same Botox people since forever. Aww. Forever. So this and this will be out. handy for you as well for when you're in London. Yeah, you snip to Harley Street and then to the train. Yeah, because so I'm actually in the, in London more than Brighton now, so. 
There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Be able to sister octopus. I look like I've been bee stung all over my forehead later. That's why. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm rocking up to dinner. No, you'll be fine. Freshly I've got makeup with me if you need it. Oh, thanks. Just touch up. Professional is not thinking about the fashion, it's thinking no. about it's thinking about the ejectables. I can, put, I can go and put them on. <laughs> <laughs> no, the blue looks great too, Duncan, don't, don't you worry. I mean, I'll mention it does not. We're about to find out that my my skin and my foundation do not match. <laughs> yeah. So, right, uh, let's, uh, um, <laughs> I do have to take a bit of it off. Oh no, so please I... just go ahead. I've got I've got tinted moisturizer in my bag. I'm saying it, Victoria, so my life is okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going shopping tomorrow. Hey, are you? Where are you going? We're going to Bista. Oh, I was going to say. Yeah, nice. girls' trip to Bista. Yeah. This is what I do with it. With it. Yeah. And then I'm just I'm just gonna hold that in the base. Okay, so you just you can relax now. Oh, perfect. I'm trying something new, guys. My upper lip is actually. I think it'll be good for you though, because you do grind your teeth. Yeah. So I think you might find Recently, a big difference. I've been waking up in the night and I'm really. Oh. Really, like, you wake up and you're like. You know, really? Like, relax. Yeah, this will be really good, for, I think. Thank God for this retainer, because otherwise yeah. I don't have no teeth. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah, I find it really good, this too, and it really worked on me, I think. I just do it again, just want to mark out. I just want to work out. I just want to and I was like, ah! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I think my face is quite uh, muscular. It, it generally, I mean, my face it's not is quite in better shape than my that, body. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not surprising that you, you know you've got very strong muscles just about everywhere, uh, but particularly, I mean, you really, I mean, to the extent you can actually see it, which is, you know. Nicely done. That was not painless. <laughs> She's a liar. The jewelry reason it probably was painless on me is because I had I had numbing cream on for the profilo. <laughs> That's probably why I couldn't feel it. The reason it was painless was because of the hours of hour of numbing cream. Yeah. <laughs> Make a lot of sense. I'm sorry. I have been deceived. I know, I know. I've led you into false pretenses here. I'm sorry. Vic's getting a little peel. She said she'd come out with something. <laughs> That's the noise Nala makes when she wants a treat. <laughs> for dinner in a minute. Oh, cheers. Hello, 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 cheers. <laughs> She's wearing flats. Who is she? I love them so much. <laughs> They're so my feet are so breezy in these. Airy. <laughs> like I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. So We've truly role reverse today. Yeah, you're not keeping those. No. Oh, damn. Good morning, everybody. I am back in my second home, my second bedroom. I love this bedroom. I think I love this bedroom more than I love my own bedroom. I stayed at Victoria's last night because we are going to Vista Village today. We haven't done a Vista Village trip in so long and I also haven't spent like one-on-one -on -one time with Vic in so long. So I have organized a little Vista Village day for us. We're gonna go for some lunch. We're gonna take Bo with us. It's gonna be so cute. We haven't done that for a good couple of years. We went with the boys before and took Bo and it was just a really, really lovely day out. So we're gonna do that together today. I'm so looking forward to it. The weather has really come out for us. Like we must have some good karma. Also, I have no bruising from my Botox yesterday. Magical 
like I always I have always bruised the like I would say at least the past couple of years but yeah it was such a lovely experience I'm so glad I've tried somewhere new the last experience I had I was just really really unhappy with hence why I haven't been back for nine months and was like I really want to find someone new and they were just the best so lovely like could not recommend enough it was so such a beautiful beautiful clinic didn't feel like a clinic at all it was just stunning but yeah now I'm putting some makeup on really fast because I made the time to work out this morning but it's definitely given me less time to get ready at a leisurely pace so I may be getting ready in the car I'm gonna go for some beauty pie luminous mineral skin tint the glow that this gives is just crazy if you get one thing from beauty pie you must get this actually two things you must get this and you must get the chocolate candle which Beauty Pie, if you're watching, please make a diffuser. I want my whole house to smell like chocolate. Give me an alternative to the Zara salty caramel, please, I beg. Also, I've said it before and I will say it again, I'm so obsessed with this Armani bronzer. We love a ginormous bronzer for one, like it is just the best to like swirl your brush in. This You get so much product. It blends like a dream and it just is the best color. I have the shade 100 and it is perfect, 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 perfect. I will be repurchasing this and I take my giant by terry brush and we give it a good good swell it looks so natural doesn't look patchy i'm gonna take this out and then we're gonna go bobo you ready to go shopping yeah come on he's so excited he, i'm so excited to go to burberry <laughs> that's my favorite maybe i could buy him a new lead yeah <laughs> it is such a nice day. I've actually never been here when the weather's been nice. I normally come like Christmas time. This is amazing. Oh, got a little buddy. This is so cute. A coffee and a juice. All the beverages. Beverage queen. We're going to Ciccone's. Ciccone's? Ciccone's? Ciccone's. Ciccone's. Oh, Jill Sander looks good. Ooh, we're going to Ciccone's for lunch. <laughs> Just trying to stop the dog peeing on everyone. But lots of sent down everyone. Yeah, we're going to Ciccone's for lunch, which would be really nice. And then we're going to do a little bit of shopping. I never get to come here in the summer, so I'm really intrigued to see what the stock is like. Oh, where's she gone? Oh. <laughs> Bo just wants to sniff everything. I'm glad we pushed the lunch reservation back. Come on! We have arrived at lunch. We made it. We did finally. <laughs> oh my god, everything looks so good. It does look really good. Oh my god. The lunch is here. Oh my god. I think we've just got fries to come, but this looks insane. Oh my god! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That looks so good. No, this is such a lady of leisure day. I know. I love it. Vic's in her element. We need to do this. This more. is you always say this is what you want to do on a Friday. Yeah. And here we are. My best friend yeah. eating good food. Oh my god. We need. It's so cute. Guys, look at this star sign charm necklace. I'm obsessed. And the Libra one's right in the center. That's so cool. I'm obsessed. I don't want to know. I don't want to know how much it is. I don't want it. Can you buy it and we can share it? We can share it. Going to Jimmy Choo. It's moved. New store. It's so nice. Wow. Oh my god. They always have such a good selection in here. God, the little pink and red bag. Yeah. I'm obsessed. They're so cute. Oh my god, look at the little baby pink one. I just love baby pink. This section is my heaven. Like, look at it. Look at it. Wow. Look at all those bags. Wow. Oh my god. Hey Barbie, oh my god. These shoes would be perfect with my Chanel bag. He's being so good. Every so often I like turn around and I'm like, where's the dog? Yeah. He's just so quiet, mm. like he just loves this bag so he does. much. He's a boy. really good boy. He's such a good boy. <laughs> Victoria is stressing. She went before, she couldn't find anything she liked. Will this be the moment? Be. Stay tuned to find out. Straight to Wedgie to wear. Straight in there with the blazer. I said, how many blazers is too many blazers? Me, on the other hand, I am straight to the shoes. Oh my god. These are adorable. I left you for two seconds. Know, what have I'm you got? Been, I've been two minutes. So much polka dot. Very cute. Yes, please. Very I'm not, I'm demure. Not quite Very yet, cutesy. We've come to the apartment. It's so pretty in here. Vic got given chicken broth for both. Yeah, poorer, poorer water. Advanced hydration. Electrolytes for dogs. Oh my god, as if. You're such a bougie dog. <laughs> Bougiest dog ever, and he's under the table. 
Hello. Hello. The new wellness Alexa for dogs. This is so Cotswolds coded. Like I can't. I can't. We've got treats. Bo's got treats. Look how great these look. Little doggy boot skirts. Yes, delicious. Mmm. This is great. Everyone is loving Bo as well. Yeah. It's so cute. <laughs> There's been multiple members of staff on the floor with the dog, and I rate this so highly. What's the plan? Do you I think? I mean, I've all, I've already spent considerable so yeah i reckon maybe we try dior because i'm not doing there in a while Bottega. Bottega. loewe calvin klein you want to do mm -hmm. loewe yes where oh anything did you want to go in anything in anything be good maybe just a quick poke i always poke my head in at prada to see me you specifically yeah it's never good but one day it is never it's always a little bit messy i find one day i will have luck do you know what i'm manifesting actually being in loewe the jumpers, the stripy knit jumpers. There's oh, a pink one and I know it's current season and I may buy it, but there's no way that's the there. rainbow one. Which shit my pants there's, gonna, there's no way I will eat my hair. Sometimes though, sometimes current season guys, I just took my shoe off in the apartment. That's for you. Yeah, yeah why is that? Like sometimes you get current season here. So I am just manifesting. Yeah. The day go. So many nice things in here. Wow. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Get. I'm. Oh my God. They do them in blue. They do them in blue. S O S. S O S. Thirty-eight and a half. Please try them on. Just. I will. I absolutely will. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're down to six. They're half price. Wow, they're crazy. Even on camera, you can see they're like going wild. Oh my god, they're so cool. I've put the shoes on hold. I'm going to consider my purchase. We're going to go to Max Mara next across the road. Go for a pink coat for me. This is a really unrealistic dream, but you know, you got a dream. What is she saying? What is she saying? Oh my god! Oh my god, stop. Stop, honey. Honey, look. There's a pink. Oh my god, stop. Stop it right now. There's a pink coat. <laughs> Stop right fucking now. My sunglasses actually just fell off my head. Stop right now. Give me the camera, you try this on right now. Oh my god. There is no way you just manifested this, Sue. It's literally the exact one. What does the manifestation say on the front? And it was like, I am so lucky. Oh. Yes, it does. It certainly does. Oh my god, babe, look. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wait, what's it discounted to? Oh my god, what's know. the discount? What's the discount? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's half price to 1.3, babe, from 2.5. <gasps> it's made for, I can't believe, I can't actually believe it's here. Do you think I should try on other colours or is this it? Um, the only other colour I would say would be this one for you, but that's a medium. I actually wore this last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it the small that you wore as well? Or the extra small? I can't, I don't, I, I don't think I ever looked at the size of it when I wore it. I was just like, thank you so much, yeah. Mara. <laughs> I am so happy. I love that they have it in really bright colours and I can't buy it. The lime green is like... The but, lime green is quite beautiful actually. I look at the lilac too, wearing, the I'm lilac. Not, I know, you're going, I'm trying not Let's to... just see, let's see what size. Let's see what size. I'm trying not. Because I've never seen that. That's a medium. Come on. Come on, smaller, extra small. Come through, come through. Small. Try it. The, the pink is a little more wearable. Against that, the pink actually looks a bit more tan neutral. It looks like a neutral compared to this. Yeah. This is pink is perfect. Okay, well, perfect. Manifestation sorted. It's still very expensive, but I will take 50% off. Yeah, you'll never get one that price again. Now I get to wear my brown bag that they gave me. Yeah, wear my bag! Idea. What had us happen? We've lost, we've plot the loss. <laughs> we've plot the loss. Good morning. As you can probably guess, I got the coat. I do have to apologize because I feel like me and Victoria were slightly unhinged upon finding the pink Max Mara teddy coat at half price. 
and I had a voucher for £250 so I think I got this for just over a thousand pounds and they retail for well over 2k so this is the most expensive coat I've ever bought in my life it's it's a lot however this coat I have been thinking about it since I wore it at Christmas. I loved this coat so much and it broke my heart to give it back. So there was no way that I wasn't leaving without it. And I just think if you've waited this long to purchase something, you do really like it. And I also have been thinking about getting a Max Mara Teddy coat for years, which is why that was just such a fun event to go to because I just love the teddy coat so much. And when they loaned me this coat, I was, I've had many teddy coats from many many retailers and i remember saying to ryan like no, this is the most incredible like coat in terms of quality that i've ever owned in my whole life i love this shade of pink it just makes me so happy and i just know i'll wear it over and over again so this is the most unseasonal purchase i think i've ever bought but i'm so so happy i love it so much <laughs> i'm so happy i don't want to sweat in it so i'm gonna take it off but that was the ultimate Bista Village find. If you have always wanted a Max Mara Teddy coat and the Bista Village pricing seems a bit more palatable to you, go, go immediately. I honestly, I can't believe the selection that they had. So yeah, that was my only Bista Village purchase. I actually did have the pair of blue Bottega shoes on hold, but after that coat purchase, I was like, I am buying no more things. <laughs> I'm, I'm done, I'm officially done, which I'm very sad about because those shoes were very cool, but also slightly hard to wear. So the shoes versus this coat, like it was a no brainer. I also am very excited because an ASOS order has just arrived and I think I managed to find a similar pair of the mesh shoes that I was wearing last week but in white trying not to buy the Alaya pair because let's face it I've spent enough money on that coat and I saw these on ASOS I don't know if they're like the best quality but I thought I'd give them a go before purchasing a more expensive pair these were very inexpensive I mean they're not in the best shape there's definitely a little scratch there but they're from public desire and i just really want these to wear in in kind of the same way that i wear my black mesh pair i love wearing it with my black midi dress and it's just a really nice little look i've got a white midi dress and i really want to wear these shoes with the white midi dress i think it's just very cool and maybe if i just really love these then i'll maybe get the alaya pair but we'll see i actually i do have to say the this style of shoe is very comfy because it's basically non-existent so hopefully these are comfortable as well it's giving PE it's giving primary school PE but anyway my final thing that I'm very excited to show you is my new Aurelia edit I'm over the moon to be doing a second edit with them like this surpassed my expectations totally like it's just beyond a dream to work with them I love working with them so much the team are so wonderful and so lovely and it's just such a pleasure to be working with them again on a second edit this edit I have to say I I think I said it earlier in the video I think this has topped the first edit for me and I just I honestly wasn't sure that that was possible when we were going into the initial meetings I was very nervous because I loved the first collection so much however i think we're on another level now i'm so excited to show you everything so obviously you have seen a few pieces that i already have so we have the hearts the gold hearts which have my heart i'm obsessed with them i also really love the silver and then we have the square studs these are so great for everyday wear they're like a little bit statement but then they're also just really nice and easy these are also very easy for me to wear if i've got like my airpod maxes on so they're going over my ears prepare to see these a lot on me prepare to be sick of me then we also have the gorgeous luxe chain necklace Oh, I love this more every time I wear this. This is the curse or not curse because it's a wonderful, it's a, this is the blessing of the tea bar. I just love them the more I wear them. This one is just so cool, I'm obsessed. And then we also have this chain bracelet which I become more in love with every single time I wear it. I'm also very excited that we have a new ring. Oh, this gorgeous like pebbly style statement ring is in my edit and i'm so so happy about it this was a must for me there was so much choice when working out the edit but for me this was like a must i just love it I just love it so much and i think it works so well with so many of the other pieces in the collection even the hearts i really love the way the gold is just so similar and you get that kind of very smooth like look to both of the pieces even though they're not 
matchy matchy at all they just work really beautifully together it's just stunning and it gives a really modern feel and a very modern twist to a lot of the pieces that are leaning a little bit more vintage inspired i think this and the t-bar necklace and the hearts bring the collection back around and just make it feel a bit more contemporary i just love 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 it so much this is staying on my finger now that we've got that out then we also have this beautiful pair of earrings oh look at Oh my god, they, these are like beautiful ribbed twisted drop earrings. They're so stunning. Just such a nice twist on a classic drop earring. I think they're so Love. This and like a silk shirt. These also look equally amazing with evening dresses. I've got like my brown silk dress. What brand is it from? I actually can't remember. Christopher Esfer, I think it is. These look incredible with that dress but equally i have the black odd muse silky dress from the campaign and these look so good with that as well they also work so well with one of the vintage pieces from the collection i am so excited if you know me you know i love vintage inspired jewelry and vintage jewelry so much and you will probably also know that aurelia have their vintage section on their website which i have talked about so much and i'm so over the moon that we have three vintage pieces in the collection that we have managed to find enough stock of to actually make it retailable because it's obviously very hard to do vintage on a mass scale and oh my god let me show you i actually need to put the earrings back in because they go so beautifully with this necklace from the vintage collection look at this if you like these pieces they are limited so run don't walk don't dawdle <sighs> i am obsessed oh my god it's beautiful this is the most beautiful necklace it layers really well with other more dainty pieces which i love so much you can also layer it up with just like lots of other different styles of necklaces that kind of have like a round neckline as well there's so much that you can do with her but she's also just so beautiful and so statement on her own and i'm so excited because we also have two sets of vintage earrings in the vintage part of the collection one of these pairs i have literally been banging on about to the aurelia team for so so long now i actually think it might have been potentially last year i flagged this pair and they have scoured for more so these are a pair of clip-on earrings if you don't have piercings if you don't have ear piercings don't worry so they're a large round pearl with a chain around the edge and they're just so stunning like i'm sorry there, there is nothing better. There's no better pearl earring on this planet. They're so, so beautiful. I can't wait to get my hands on my wedding dress because I might need to try these on with my wedding dress and just see how they work out because these just scream bridal to me. Every single time I put a piece from this edit in, I don't want to take it off. They're just such special pieces and I know from the last edit how much you guys all enjoyed the pieces that were just super, super special and we wanted to really focus on that this time around and really tailor this to the pieces that you guys loved the most next from the vintage collection are these incredible battered gold circle clip-on earrings this, they, these are stunning again i'm obsessed i like i said every time i put a piece on i don't want to take it off but equally i'm so excited by the next piece that's to come and these are no exception these are of course for me personally my jewelry style a pair that i would probably wear more for evenings however with just a white shirt casual jeans look during the day and like a necklace like this i think this slaps they're also so comfortable to wear i have worn all of these whilst we were shooting for long periods of time and they're just so so comfy prepare to see this edit a lot in the run-up to my wedding especially in the uk these are going to get worn so much that it just fits the vibe so perfectly not me just putting the hearts in yet again so that is the edit we wanted to keep it a little bit smaller like i know the last edit was such a huge edit it was so amazing i loved it so much but i definitely wanted to keep it on the smaller side this time just so i could really bring you guys some amazing statement pieces and i love the collection all together it works like a really beautiful capsule wardrobe for me also really excitingly with this drop it's actually available for you guys to exclusively shop until 
Tuesday, I believe Monday or Tuesday. I think Tuesday because Monday is a bank holiday. Happy bank holiday shopping to you all. So the link in my info box is literally exclusively for you guys. Go forth happy shopping send me what you buy i cannot wait i cannot wait to see what you will purchase it's going to be the most fun day please dm me your orders there's nothing that i would love to see more wait on that note i think i am missing a bracelet i believe that there were meant to be two bracelets so let me see if i can hunt the other bracelet style down for you and i will insert anything missing up next this is the textured t-bar bracelet how stunning we do also have a set of rings as well in gold and silver which i will link to but they are definitely not with me but this i knew it was somewhere oh my god she's so pretty this is what she looks like on with the other bracelet as well it's just such a nice mix of textures but equally they look amazing alone as well don't they all just look so good together like the perfect 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 collection but yeah this is all available to shop now it's just like the best most gorgeous edit of pieces i'm in love okay i have changed into the white midi dress i mentioned before and i'm trying the shoes oh yeah this is kind of cute oh my god yes love this cute white shoes fun bag i think this would actually work if the dress was slightly shorter as well i kind of want a bit more shoe on show but it is so nice oh i have one more thing i wanted to talk to you about before i go i have a new perfume recommendation for you all i popped to boots and bought this because i was so intrigued by it and girlies if you wanted the vanilla tom ford fragrance this fragrance by tom ford it's number one impossible to get your hands on but also very very expensive these ones from tom ford are at a slightly higher price point so not always the most bank account friendly however this by Ariana Grande I obviously am a, I, am, I am a fan we all know we don't need to be reminded of it but I wanted to try it because vanilla suede very up my street it says bergamot sandalwood vanilla bean bergamot and I am not normally a fan of so that had me running a little scared I can't lie but this is beautiful and a very very good dupe for that tom ford vanilla fragrance however i would say it's got slightly more of a like really top line citrusy floral note but it is mostly predominantly vanilla because i think vanilla is like the base of it i don't know if this comes in two sizes but this is definitely the larger size it retails at 70 pounds if it comes in a smaller size it would obviously be even less expensive but there's so much fragrance this is such a big size so really in terms of like what you get for your money this is very very good so i could not recommend this more it's stunning it is stunning i hope she keeps this one forever and ever because it's so so good that's my my final note in today's vlog i hope you've all enjoyed it i'll be back with you next week for a new vlog which i can't wait for you guys are going to pee your pants alongside me i am peeing my pants i'm peeing my pants for next week's vlog for so many reasons love you all hope you have a great week happy shopping it's a big shopping week for us all so my aurelia edit is now live for you to shop also if you are a bridal girly and you've got your eye on my bridal collab with charlotte mills i will link the waitlist for that in the info box and i think that goes live on i think it's thursday it's the th I the 30th i will pop on screen and in the info box all of the information for that because my brain has just exited the chat but that is live this week as well so happy shopping oh my god the next vlog is just going to be me like bricking it because i'm going you're going to be watching me live see how all of this is panning out but anyway shopping or no shopping i hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog i love you all so much thank you so much for tuning in and supporting as always love you bye